The iPhone 6 is still pretty popular iPhone, but it's not compatible with the iOS 13. But what exactly is the reason for it? Let's begin. Okay, so it always happens like this. When there is a new version of the iOS, namely the iOS 12 was the latest one, one device got it discontinued. In that case, it was the iPhone 5. And the iPhone 5S got the update and ability to run iOS 12. So normally with the arrival of the iOS 13, only the iPhone 5S should be removed, whereas in this case, also alongside with the iPhone 5S, also the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus were discontinued. So what exactly is the purpose of this or why the iPhone 6 is not able to run the iOS 13? The main purpose or the reason are the internals because as you know, the iPhone 6 is not the most powerful device out there and it only features 1 gigabyte of RAM. And if you take a look at all of the iOS 13 compatible devices, you're going to find out that every single one of them has at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. Even the iPod Touch 7th generation, which has just been released, it's a device that's probably unusable for many people. It's, it's a device that has 2 gigabytes of RAM and technically is able to run the iOS 13. So it doesn't matter which device you would pick up, it would definitely need to have that 2 gigabytes, at least 2 gigs of RAM in order to get the ability to install the iOS 13, whether that is the iPhone 6s, which has it, or the iPhone SE, which also have like the same internals, even though they are not technically the same, but they have pretty much everything the same inside, so those devices are able to run it. But why exactly do we need those 2 gigs of RAM? I'm not sure if you have watched the WWDC keynote and the event where Apple has of officially announced the iOS 13 and the new speed improvements and the new features, one thing that was really apparent to me or stood out to me the most was the speed improvement of the opening apps. They have actually claimed that every single app you open up is going to be here two times faster than it is in the iOS 12 which is unthinkable. I mean, it's pretty fast right now. I mean, if you wouldn't think about it or consider the animations when you open up the apps it would be like really fast but they have claimed that it's going to be two times faster of course that belongs to the uh, face id being faster but again the iphone 6 has nothing to do with this so it would be simply impossible to do on uh, this iPhone with these internals. But I just wanted to say that if you are new here on this channel, this is completely by the way, but I just wanted to mention it that if you are new here and if you don't want to miss the next content and be always updated when it comes to Apple and the, this kind of stuff, then click on the subscribe button and make sure you just don't miss anything. So again, like I say that the iPhone 6 is not able to run these fast apps or uh, you know every single app should be opened up a lot faster which is not possible to do on this device. I'm still talking about the base model of the iPhone 6 but uh, the iPhone 6 Plus has I believe 1.5 gigs of RAM but still that's clearly not enough to run such an advanced operating system like iOS 13 but even if it would technically be available to run it on the iPhone 6 Plus it wouldn't really make sense because they just didn't want to separate the iPhone 6 Plus from the iPhone 6 because they are like tied together. It's basically one iPhone with two different sizes. So this was actually the first reason which is actually backed up by the numbers but there is also the second one which is like hypothetically speaking it's not a real thing but Apple could do this intentionally in order for you to upgrade in case you have the iPhone 6 or uh, the iPhone 6 Plus to something newer. I mean the iPhone XR is here to be like a budget iPhone with that new design and this is something that could be like intentional doing because because Apple has actually discontinued to do series of devices and the iPhone 6 is still quite used iPhone, it's not like it has died out, it's not like nobody is using this, it's a pretty frequently used device and if you want to get the latest features, maybe they are trying to force you to upgrade to something better, maybe just to get the iPhone 7 or something, but I'm, I just cannot be sure about it, but 
this is like a strategy or theory that I came up with or it's actually pretty obvious that Apple could do this even though Apple doesn't usually do something like this except for the throttling issue which has been here you know what I'm talking about where Apple were, was actually slowing down the older iPhones but they have officially claimed that it, it was in order to preserve the battery life I mean it's just you know, you can't really know what's true or if they just wanted to upgrade to the latest model. But the point is that th this could also be the reason why they decided to discontinue this device. But on the other hand, there are many iPhones which still are able to run the iOS 13. So Apple is always keeping the older iPhones updated. So this will be it. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this video useful and informative. In case you have enjoyed it and found value in it, click on the like button. It just helps the video and helps the channel a little bit. And also subscribe if you don't want to miss some future content like this one. So see you guys in the next video and peace out.